Hi everyone, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and I'm so excited because today I'm going to be doing part one of our Simply Fall Baby Dress Crochet Along. This is part one of a four part series that we're going to be doing over the next four weeks, making this pretty plaid skirt baby dress. So for part one of our crochet along, we're going to go over color selection and how to pick three yarn colors that are going to make a nice plaid look in our skirt as well as we're going to go over our gauge and I'm going to show you how to figure out your gauge so that you're able to make a dress that fits the size you were planning on it to fit. So for this pattern I decided to use the With Love yarn by Red Heart. Uh, the reason I picked this yarn was because it's a worsted weight yarn so it's a very common yarn. It'll be really easy to substitute other types of yarn for this but another reason I chose the With Love as you'll see in a second is it has a lot of different options to create a plaid look in your skirt. Here I have six color combinations using the With Love yarn line. Um, it's not all that I have. I actually came up with a total of 14 color combinations and you can find those on my blog post. The link is in the description box below. I found when trying to put together uh, colors for plaid, the easiest thing to do was to find Take one color, find two shades in it, and then either add black or white to it. That was a lot easier to do than to attempt to find one color with three different shades of yarns that were just that perfect shade of each other. So that's what I did, and as I said, I got 14 different color combinations, and you can check that out on the blog post. So let's go ahead and take a second and figure out our gauge. Gauge is very, very important for a fitted item. If you don't get the gauge right, it's not gonna fit right. I have made the mistake, I can tell you right now, that I have made the mistake of not checking my gauge and the result was I made a baby dress that was way too small. Um, so I've learned my lesson. I have a tendency of crocheting very tightly and I fixed that over the years, but I have learned my lesson that it is important to check your gauge, especially when you are substituting yarns because the yarn might cause you to have a slightly different gauge. In order to figure out your gauge, you are gonna need a gauge swatch like this example here. You're also gonna to need to know what your gauge is and I'm gonna put that up here in the corner. There is a pattern for your gauge swatch and you can find the link to that pattern in the description box below. Um, that'll take you over to the first part of the Cal blog post and you'll be able to find the pattern for this gauge swatch. Once your gauge swatch is made, you can go ahead and measure your gauge. I'm gonna use two needles here to help me show you where I'm measuring my gauge. I'm going to put a needle on both sides of my gauge. So for here, I'm going to put a needle right before this stitch here. I'm gonna count over seven stitches because it's seven stitches for every two inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go ahead and put in another needle. And my needle's a little wobbly, but we're just gonna be measuring the spots that we just put the yarn over the needle. And we'll go ahead and measure this to see if it's two inches. You're gonna need something to measure with. I have a little seamstress tape measure here. Put this down and you can see that these stitches, these seven stitches are right about two inches which is just perfect because that is what I'm looking for. But real quick, let's discuss what happens if this isn't right. If you have eight stitches or six stitches in the two inch point instead of the seven. If you have six stitches, that simply means you have a larger gauge than what you need. The product's gonna come out larger than what it's supposed to be. And in that case, you wanna go ahead and use a smaller hook. So I use a size H hook here. I would use a size G hook, remake the swatch, and measure it again to see if that gauge is closer to what I'm looking for. If I was measuring this and I had eight stitches in between my two inch marks, I would go ahead and use a larger hook. I would maybe go to a size I hook and use that to see if I can get my gauge closer to what I'm looking for, which is that seven inches, seven stitches for two inches you're always gonna to wanna to use the hook that gets you closest to the gauge you're looking for. You're also gonna go ahead and measure 
how many rows are in two inches as well. And you're going to want to use, um, we're looking for five rows in two inches. So you're going to want to go ahead and use whatever hook gets you closest to that gauge. But definitely how many stitches are in between two inches is much more important than how many rows equal two inches. So that completes part one of our crochet along. Come back next week and we will be doing the bodice of the dress. Make sure you jump over to the blog post and check out all 14 color combinations that you can use for this dress, as well as take a picture of your colors and take a picture of your gauge swatch to share with us on our Facebook group, Our Crochet Journey on Facebook. Let us know in the comments below what hook you needed to use to get the right gauge, and don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.